Playing a game of fetch can be a very fun way to enjoy some time together with your dog. If, however, your dog decides not to bring the toy back to you, this can also turn into a game of frustration as you try to convince your dog to come back to you. In this video, we'll go over the process of teaching your dog a fun way to play fetch, step by step. Step 1. Teaching your dog it's fun to bring you his toy. At first, avoid asking your dog to give you the toy. Put him on leash so he can't run off and then we're ready to go. You start by playing a game of tug of war. Every now and then, you release a toy so your dog wins the game. It's fun this way. If your dog runs off, you grab a leash and gently lure your dog back to you. Once he gets in reach, grab the toy and continue your game of tug of war. Continue doing so over multiple training sessions and you'll start to notice that your dog returns to you immediately or even stays next to you when you let go of the toy. After all, it's fun to bring you the toy. He gets rewarded with some playtime. Step 2. Teaching let go or drop it. The reason I told you to avoid asking your dog to drop it or leave it early on is because in a game of fetch you want the dog to return the toy in your hand so you don't have to go and fetch the toy yourself. Also, if you constantly ask your dog to give the toy to you, then what's the fun in that? If you however reward him with a game of tug of war, he has a reason to come back to you. Once you start teaching your dog to let go, hold the tree that hand. Grab the toy and let him sniff the reward inside your other hand. Most often they will just release the toy because they smell something and you can give the command, let go or drop it. Another way to reward your dog for giving you the toy is to give it back to him as soon as he releases it. So he knows it's not a bad thing to give away the toy. Step 3. Throwing at a small distance. As long as you aren't sure your dog is going to return the toy to you, keep him on leash so he won't have the opportunity to learn running off with the toy. If the first step is going successfully, you can start by throwing your toy. Start by throwing at a short distance. It's the quality of the fetch is important, not the distance. Step 4. Increasing the distance and or distractions. Everything is going great. Your dog returns the toy to you when you throw it away. So now it's the moment to start increasing either the distance or the distraction. Always start by adding to one of these two. If you would all of a sudden go to a very distracting environment and start throwing three times as far as usual, you're just asking for a failed fetch. So choose upon increasing the distance or the distraction one by one. Step five, finishing off the fetch. This will be the finishing step in the fetch training. Though it's not everyone's goal to get a perfect fetch, this one is included because it makes the obedience fetch complete. There are a few elements to add before having a perfect fetch. First off, your dog should wait next to you when you throw away the toy until you give him a command to go and fetch. Add a wait cue when throwing the toy to teach your dog this part. If your dog would run off immediately when you throw away the toy, Put a leash on him to be able to guide him back when he races off. Upon returning, your dog should sit right in front of you, wait until you ask him the toy, and then finish off by a heel sit. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe and the like button down below.